I have things. Hi, I'm Ash, and I'm going to make a few videos about using Blender for 3D printing. So the first one, I'm just going to quickly show you how I have things set up for easy export. Things come out the right size, that sort of thing. So first of all, press press N to bring up the uh, the sidebar. Dimensions of the cube we want to read as two millimeters, but we don't want to change the size of the cube. We just want to change the scale of everything around it. So, first go to Scene Properties, then Units. Set the unit scale to 0.001 and the length to millimeters. After that, do the same at the top with the overlays panel 0.001. Select the cube, it should read as 2mm. Next, I like to change the size of the cube to the size of my print volume. In my case, that is 14cm. Let's press numpad dot to zoom out. And I am going to go to the object properties, to the viewport display display as wireframe. And we've got the cube there. That's our print volume. Uh, while I'm at it I will also select the camera and the light and just delete those. We don't need them. Select the cube, press numpad 1, G to grab it, Z to constrain it to the Z axis and press control and drag it up until the bottom of your print volume is level with the bottom of the uh, scene. Rename it in the uh, outliner, call it print volume. Another thing I like to do is turn the restriction toggles and make it make this cube no longer selectable. That way anything I add I can't accidentally select this and move it, delete it or anything. Um, I like to have the cavity on in the shading panel and also edit preferences and we will add search for the 3d print toolbox there it is in the uh, add-ons and check that just makes it mostly it's very convenient for exporting and that's everything that we need to know for this bit please stay tuned um, future videos I plan to make show you how to make things for tabletop scenery and uh, war, miniature war games and just sort of easy tricks and easy things to make that look pretty good. Thanks and I hope to hear from you in the future.